sorry, top 10 is everyone's least favorite site. Okay, top 10 is the site that basically made a list of the worst anime characters and put Goku on the list of the worst anime characters. I know, you know, oh, you know, you're biased, but if you get the best movies of 2019, this is the Internet Archive site for the top 10. Okay, best movies of 2019. That is an Archive from Google. Let's see, unless they won't allow you to show it. But before, uh, you know, unless you can go, I, I don't know how I can photo back, go, but before a, cer before a certain writer manipulated the site for some of the top tens decided, oh, look, the New York Times literally changed this list, okay? Because before the list was, number one was, it's number one, number two are still the same. But number three was Toy Story 4, which I don't think is deserving to be in the top 10. Then was number 4 was Orange Patan Highwood. Number 5 was I believe Spider Man Far From Home. Then number 6 was Parasite. Or, or, and then number 6 and number 7 like Parasite in the White House. And then Knives Out was in the top 10. Same with How to Trade Dragon Hit and World. Well, rounded out like the top 10. And Godzilla was at like number 10. Well, it was John Buck that was at number 10, not Godzilla, but there were some movies that were that were not on the list that were added by the New York Times, and now these movies are much higher than they should be, okay? Some of these movies are already on the list, like Parasite was already on the list. The Irish Bell was already on the list, like, like 20 or something, and, you know, usually they make a remix that for something that has, like, no votes, it goes up the list. As what happened to Parasite, a movie was at, like, I had two comments, but all these other movies are like, 10 million comments, but... You know, when I made a remix of this list, I put We Barry into it, number one. We the Barry Nuts. No, it went from like 20 to 10. To like 11. And it didn't go into top 10 because, you know, top 10s hates We the Barry Angel so much. Community of the top 10s hate that movie so much. But a movie that was, I was mad was eventually going to get into top 10, of course. But again, the New York Times manipulated this list. How did I tell? Well, it's this list. This list is. An expert by a writer for a film critic from the New York Magazine and CBS Monday Morning. And they, and they changed it from the New York Times to that writer so they could make it less obvious. But Marriage Story, a movie that was added by the New York Times, where the woman is on the New York Times list of best movies of the year. Watch Part Time High was just all in the top 10 to begin with, so not worry. But Honey Man, a movie that no one has ever heard of, a pie dropped down the list. Was added by the New York Times. Now here, Uncut Gems was added by was added uh, by them as well. You see, some movies that no one has heard of is now on here because of the New York Times. Movies that no one cares about, no one has heard of before, are on the New York Times. The Farewell, it was well, it was like at 80. Now it's at 26. Transit was added here by the New York Times. This movie was added. Here. So all, all these movies were added by professional film critics because obviously the top tens. Apparently, they matter more than actual fans who watch movies, okay? Apparently, professional critics matter more to the top tens. Their opinions apparently matter more. And you can really tell if you see if it's a professional critic. Because they have no comment. They have no actual things here. They have a style here. So, obviously, you know, oh, you're a professional. You're, and, of course, there's more here. There's the New York Times here. There's the, the a few professional critics, which... Essentially, according to the top tens, they matter more than the actual people, the actual, you know, top teners who make up the site. The professional critics matter more than the actual fans. Of course, there are some movies that are not deserving of being the top 20 or even the top 30. Looks like a Captain Marvel here. Movies that are not deserving and only up there because the Disney fanboys voting them up. They feel Toy Story 5 and Frozen 2, <coughs> you know. But you look at here, there's a lot of movies that were added by these professional critics that were put up on the list. Because, you know, of course, you know, you know, of course, you know. And, you know. So, what do you think about the, you know, professional critics completely, completely, you know, changing the list to fit their, you know, opinions? Which obviously not the top tens has been manipulated by the critics. So now I know that the top tens, much like IMDb, 
is very much manipulated by like, a few small group of people. Goodbye.